You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, let's talk about Ennis Cantor Freedom. The newly amended American citizen has been on a rampage calling out China, calling out Nike, calling out the Martins NBA at China, Michael Jordan, and LeBron James. The NBA, LeBron James, they have been silent on everything China. They will not say one bad word about China. Ennis Cantor is the only person out there in the NBA saying anything about the atrocities that are committed by China. The NBA has a lot to lose if they go out there and they, and they criticize China. We know that China has already dropped the Boston Celtics games out there in China because Ennis Cantor has been criticizing them. And the NBA has remained silent. Now, Ennis Cantor has been riding LeBron James extremely hard. I mean, extremely hard. Hard. LeBron James doesn't even want to really talk to Ennis Cantor. LeBron has already said that he doesn't want to give him, him the time of day. But however, Ennis Cantor wants to sit down and talk to LeBron James and educate him. Now, guys, we know that this would never happen. LeBron James does not like to be challenged off the court. None whatsoever. I don't expect this conversation to be had, but Ennis Cantor has come out and he has pretty much asked LeBron James, sit down with me. So we're going to be talking about that in this video, guys. First, Merry Christmas and you can get your Let's Go Brandon Santa shirt. We're going to give you 20% off if you use the discount code HOLIDAY because this is the holiday season. Merry Christmas to everyone. Here we go, guys. On ESPN.com, Celtics Ennis Cantor Freedom says he welcome sit down with LeBron James on human rights abuses in China. I'm here to educate him. Now, in the mind of LeBron James, you know, he's already educated. Remember, LeBron James says that he does his homework. He's not the kind of person that you should go out, go at because he's educated when we know he's really not. But anyway. It says Boston Celtics center Ennis Cantor Freedom said he would welcome the opportunity to speak to Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James, whom he has criticized, along with Nike, of hypocrisy because of not speaking out about human rights violations in China and educate him on the subject. He says this, quote, sure, I love to sit down and talk to him. Freedom said Tuesday after the Celtics practice. I'm I'm sure it's going to be a very uncomfortable conversation for him. I don't know if he's going to want that. I'll make that really comfortable for him. And he goes on. He says, I don't know if he's educated enough. Remember, I, he probably put that in there on purpose because LeBron James has said he he's always educated. He does his homework. But he goes on, he says, but I'm here to educate him. And I'm here to help him because it's not about money. It's about morals, principles and values. It's about what you stand for. They are way bigger things than money. If LeBron stopped making money now, his grandkids and grandkids and grandkids can have the best life ever. I feel like it's definitely time for athletes to stand up for the things they believe in, not just in America, but all over the world. And boy, he is right. But we all know that LeBron James would never, ever sit down with Ennis Freedom. He won't do that because this isn't the first time, you know, LeBron has been called out to have a conversation. Remember the black police officer in L.A., his name is slipping my mind right now. He reached out to LeBron to sit down have a conversation about policing. LeBron James did not come in contact with that police officer. He didn't take up the opportunity to do that because LeBron James is all about a narrative. And that is a leftist narrative. It's that the police are bad. But when it comes to China, he cannot have that conversation because his shoes are made in China. And the NBA is so deep in bed with China China can get away with murder and LeBron James will not say anything. 
uh, the sheriff in uh, L.A. County, Alice Villanueva, when the two police officers were ambushed out there, he asked LeBron James to help out. LeBron James said no comment. And LeBron James has already said that he wasn't going to give Ennis Cantor freedom the time of day. It wasn't worth his time, you know, because you can't cross China. By Ennis saying this, you know, if LeBron doesn't have this conversation, it just reaffirms once again that he is a coward. He's not really into social justice. He's not willing to cross the line when it can actually hurt his pocketbook. And for anyone to put LeBron James in the same category as Muhammad Ali, you're wrong. You are completely wrong. Muhammad Ali actually risked his career. He was actually flat broke. He had to get other fighters to help him, you know, put food on the table because he was standing on his principles that he was not going to go to Vietnam. LeBron James, he's not willing to do that. He is not willing to risk his career. He's not willing to risk his money whatsoever. And we know this. Everything that he does is a virtue signal. I don't even think the word Uyghur has ever come out of LeBron James mouth. I mean, he called Daryl Morey pretty much, you know, uneducated and stupid when Daryl Morey is probably the smartest person in the NBA. But LeBron James, you've been called out now. You have been called out by Ennis Cantor Freedom to have a conversation. I would love to actually see this, you know, on camera. Now, if it does happen, it would never, ever happen on camera. It probably would happen in private if it even does. And I give that just a 5% chance of actually happening. It will not happen because LeBron James is a coward. He's a coward. If he speaks out against China, he loses money. And LeBron James is all about his money. He's not willing to sacrifice a single dime. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.